smells so good. I want to drink it. What's in it? It's got spearmint, wintergreen, tea tree, and thyme. I forgot the spearmint last time. And something I meant to do this time, but I completely forgot when I told you to go fix it for me is um, a trick that helps the oils disperse in water better is to mix the oils with 1 16th of a tablespoon of lecithin. And the lecithin helps disperse the oils in the water. So next time, we gotta do it next time. One of the things about beekeeping is, is it's kind of like what my uh, pruning professor taught me that, you know, a lot of times people ask, what's the best time to prune? What's the best time to prune? And he gets asked this, you know, by millions of people all over the place, you know, and well, not millions, but his answer is, when you have your pruners in your hand because it's better to prune when it's not a good time than to not prune at all on a lot of situations. For us, it would have been better to do the bees in the morning before they wake up and get active, but because we were not available to do so um, with our other farm chores, we waited until the evening started to calm down. So you can see they're still coming in and out a lot, but not nearly as much as they were at the height of the day. So hoping that this doesn't aggravate them. The temperature is really nice right now. So making sure that the temperature is over 65 is gonna help prevent them from getting agitated. There's no wind, there's no rain. So it's a sunny day. So hopefully they should be happy like they were last time. So we're just going to get in there, remove the comb, give them some more syrup, but I'm supposed to look for eggs first. So I am going to pull out a couple of um, frames to look and see if there are any eggs being laid. And that just tells me that my queen is still here, which it looks like she is by the traffic going in and out. All right. Oh no, that comb got way bigger than it should have. I should have done this sooner. Um, also, we've got extra frames now with us, so we're prepared to um, fill in the space so that they won't do this again. We had too much space in here is the main reason for that comb being built up in the first place. So, I'm a little bit nervous about this, I'll be honest. I've never had to disturb bees like this in such an agitated way by removing what they're working on. And I know that they're probably not gonna like it. So I'm just gonna try to don't press against any bees on my wrist as I rest it against here so I get some leverage under me. Should I back up? You might want to, Ryan. That's for your own safety. I'm taking some risk, y'all. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. Okay, they're getting mad. You'll see in a minute why they're so angry right now. They had this connecting to a frame. On the inside as well. So they're feeling pretty upset with me right now. Hopefully I'll just be able to I think I'm just going to leave that there for t the time being instead of messing with it. I got some angry ones around my head right now.
Wow, they're already filling these with nectar and pollen in the top section of this hive, which I was not expecting them to start building that out so soon, but we have had some incredible weather here in Georgia for bees to enjoy. So when, before I add in those other frames, I'm gonna go down to this lower frame level so I can make sure we got some eggs. I don't know how to use this tool very well. It's the first time trying it. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to, yeah, I can't remove them. It's okay, guys. I'm just checking to make sure your girl is doing her job. I know. They look really mad. So that outer frame is not filled in yet. Oh, beautiful, beautiful nectar and pollen all over this frame. Wow, it's all yellow pollen for the most part. A couple of them are orange. Beautiful. But mainly what I'm looking for is eggs. So it's good to see all the different things uh oh I must have just smushed someone they can smell it, sends off a pheromone, and it makes them upset. As it would if you smelt one of your friends getting hurt. Oh my goodness, this one's really fossilized. My biggest fear is honestly hurting the queen. If I am not careful. Oh my gosh, that is heavy. Oh, that's heavy. That is beautiful. It's all capped in the middle with some pockets of nectar, pollen all the way around the outside. They're not building their comb the way I would like. They've got some weird cells there. nerve-wracking. <laughs> I see larva. Awesome. Awesome. I see small larva and large larva. Show me them eggs, guys. Where's your queen? I'm not really looking for the queen as much as I'm looking 
for evidence. There we go. Eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. So that's what I needed to know. These guys are really kind of feeling upset right now. I don't blame them. So I'm actually going to stop checking and let them get back to their work. I was told to put at least two more frames in if I can still fit my syrup pan. That should be good. Oops. Dump it out that, that way first. Just barely fit my syrup jar in. So the rest of this open space is up for grabs, but we're just going to hope they don't use it. By the way they're building out that top box, we might be moving them up a level. Anyway, once there's seven to eight frames filled in the bottom box, you add your next 10 frames box on top of it. We have frames in here to hold space, not because they were ready to move up. So. We'll see. All right. I don't know that I'll need a, any of this over here, but I definitely need a frame holder. But... Oh, I need my syrup. Oh, that was exhilarating, hey? Eh? They were pretty excited over there when I took that. Oh, these guys did it too. I'm going to have to do it to them too. I wonder if I should do it last though. Before, that was what you, I was thinking. before you upset them, let me get some close-up shots. So that's a close-up shot of what we don't want them to do. Building comb that's not on a frame. So I have thought about doing top bar hive or even old-fashioned skeps so that they can build the frame however the comb however they want but oh wow it's full of nectar too oh poor babies I gotta destroy your hard work and I go back up good idea and I These guys were much more developed when we put them in. Yeah, if I pull this up, it's going to damage the cone too. So either way, they're going to get mad right away. I 
don't know if you can see the color of the pollen inside those combs. It's beautiful. But the bees are around you, so you should probably step back. Ryan's in shorts. For those of it, those of you that don't know, that's why I'm telling him to step back. Yeah, I told them earlier. Oh, okay. I got choke chokes on. And there's eggs on the top. Oh my gosh, does that mean the queen is up here? Queen, you've already moved up. All right, I'm not even gonna do any further exploration because if there's eggs, then I know she's still here. Hopefully not on, no, she wouldn't be on a comb that's being built, right? I gotta remove the rest of this comb. They're gonna get mad, so. I have one inside my hood, I believe. Yep, I most definitely do. I have a bee in my hood. Well, don't freak out. So just get ready for me to rip it off real fast. Okay. Don't forget to feed them. Y'all, I couldn't even. <laughs> Still got a few flying around you. I've got them in my hood. I know. I just you're still being followed. Gone? You're being followed. You're still being followed. Still being followed. But if you want to take it off, you might be okay. It like flew out of the hood into my face. <laughs> so that means. I do need a suit more like Liam's. <laughs> hey, little guy, you can come out now. I saw you. There you are. Because the rubber band around my waist is no longer rubber. There it went. That's probably how he got in. But I also have a couple of little tiny holes. I don't think they could get in. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you for not stinging me. I just survived having an angry bee flying around. It like, I felt it hit the back of my neck and like my hair. Whoo! I was like, Rose, stay calm. Stay calm, Rose. Well, that one's getting close to your hand. Oh, yes. They were not happy. We should not have had that much space. So this is lessons learned in beekeeping. Have a suit that fits snug around your waist that a bee can't climb up inside of you. And yes, yeah, so Ryan's is brand new. So his has elastic, mine's old. So the elastic is gone. I think I'm going to put a new bee suit for mommy on the wish list because yeah, I'm gonna have to use that one now, even though it's big on me because it's made for you. I'll have to order another medium size for me. Whoo, that was scary, huh? <laughs> Were you a little bit nervous, Ryan? No, somebody told me that you're not supposed to be nervous. Well, yes, and but if I had it's one, only natural. Uh, if I had one inside of my hood, I would probably be squealing. So. But I knew that I had to get everything put back together before I got all squealy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, good job. That was scary. Alright, this has been one continuous take. So, my <laughs> comb, I guess I gotta leave that here for the bees to go home. Go home, bees. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a bee buzzing around the microphone on the camera.
Y'all. I mean, it's fun, but that was freaky. Freaky, freaky. Um, and apparently I didn't tighten the lid on that jar because there is syrup dripping out of that hive. That's not good. Do I edit that out? <laughs> this is all about how not to do bees. Don't do them this way, that way, and the other way. All the way if it rose in it. Learning, learning, learning. Well, let me open it up and uh, tighten the lid. I'll do it. Is it stopping? No. Here. <sighs> You're brave. Remember, the queen's in the top somewhere, so be gentle and extra careful that you don't smush anything. I mean, she might not still be in the top, but she could be because I did see eggs in the top. Well, it appears to be tight. Turn it upside down. Okay. You're doing really good, Ryan. Maybe it was just that initial first pour I didn't get out good enough because it's not dripping out anymore. Good. Thank you for being brave and double checking that so that we don't waste all that syrup. Yay! Wow, you had a funner experience than I did. I, I'm messing with bees, tending the bees, getting over my fears of being stung, and what better way to do it than celebrating one of the first days of being able to wear shorts. Yeah, but I wouldn't advise that. I don't think I'll ever do this again. I, I did not intend it. I didn't intend to be around the bees today, but cool those combs are really neat looking i hope that nothing eats them overnight because should i pick them up and put them on the top or something no because they they're supposed to be in front of the hive so that they'll fly back in they'll know to go oh, back in they're pinging me oh <laughs> who's scared now Ryan? i'm not scared i'm just being <laughs> wise all right, I think it's time to call it a day. Do I have any? No, I don't see any around you. All right. <sighs> I hear one around my head. Probably because I'm standing in front of the hives. Y'all, bees are no joke. <laughs> but luckily I did not get stung. And hopefully what we did today is going to prevent them from building comb again and we won't have to be so invasive. I try to have as a natural approach as possible in my beekeeping. The beekeeping course that I took was a natural beekeeping course. Um, I'd like to move away from having foundation frames. Um, there's just a lot I would do differently to be more natural, but for now I'm dealing with a learning curve too, so we're gonna keep learning. And you guys can keep learning with us. You might learn by trial and error <laughs> and what not to do, but you'll learn. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. <laughs>